Uh, demo features several chapters of the first act. All save progress can be carried over to the main game. So several chapters in an act. Okay, new game. Uh, and this is great, right? There's like a customized, tailored experience for this whole thing. In my in in my experience of the little bit that I played of this, I think the brightness probably should go all the, all the way up. It just seems right. Uh, frame rate, game performance. If it's too bright, we'll mess around with it. Uh, and a focus on action. Looks like ads are going right now, chat. Don't worry, I'll I'll wait for you guys. Uh, beep. All right, let's do this. This is practically part one of our uh, FF16 playthrough, you know? It's the chronicler who said that the land of Alistheia is blessed in the light of the Mother Crystals. And that it was this light which finally led our forebears out of the darkness. Yet, what they saw in the light gave rise to temptation. Temptation that ever lures us back into the crystal shadow. And thus did our journey begin. Neat. No, I'll have this act as our part one of FF16 for sure. engine in-game. Gameplay! Fools know how to do an opener, that's for sure. Did I get hit? Excuse me. No, this is not Pensa Dragoon. Not yet. Not yet. This is, we don't want to intimidate the player with anything crazy. It just looks pretty right now. They'll intimidate the player with crazy shit later on. <laughs> The nice and defile. This is like all the names and tactics. They just don't make any sense to me until you hear them a billion times. It'll be light soon. Both camps have begun to stir. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. No one else. Where's the fun in that? How do we even know the girl will be among them? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Try to keep that in mind. They're branded. I still don't know the Let's lore behind all done. that stuff. Will I replay the beginning at launch? Likely not. We'll have this act as the beginning. Some of these cutscenes are CG. Uh, some are. Some are. 
I think. This is not. This is an engine. It's probably going to transition directly to gameplay in a second. Focus, Wyvern. Yeah, it already has the uh, you are key to this mission. aliasing shimmering. This is all an engine. Yes, Sergeant. I said focus, Wyvern. Okay. Oh, the camera got a bit faster since last time. Oh, that's good. Uh, in the old build, it was very slow, and this is already running significantly better than what I played. What I played, everything in the field was 30, so... Uh, already there's a huge change. Hu huge change from what I played like a month and a half ago, something like that. Can't run! Yeah, I don't, I don't want to make the camera faster. I don't think I need to. Time to move. We're just in time. Yeah, I can't tell if all of this is in engine or not. It might be. I think they were talking about that before, that a, a lot of these parts actually are in the game engine with the PS5, like, running it. I don't think these are all... these are, these are cutscenes. They actually have some signs of in-engine rendering. Yeah, it runs the prelude here. It's dope. These are in blood are more beast than man. Why, this to be honest, good. it's one of my actual complaints about 7 Remake. I felt the in-engine cutscenes oh. were better than the CG. The CG was cool. If it's set up for some crazy moments, but they were kind of distracting because all of a sudden the characters just looked way different. That's why you don't want to have crazy CG cutscenes and then also in engine. It's kind of distracting. Through the gates! Quickly! Move! What do you mean you refuse? Did you not pledge your swords for our cause? Wait a minute, hold touchpad gives you active lore? Oh my god, it actually stopped the scene. Active time lore! A compilation of important information relevant to Clive's current storyline progression. Time lore can be viewed during most cutscenes. The active time lore... Wow, so they actually made it a gameplay thing. I didn't know this. I didn't open the, up this at all when I was playing before. Current location at Fort Zernitra. Uh, a stronghold situated in the west of the Nysa Defile in the Dominican Republic in the area 873. It served as the site of a meeting of covered, uh, covered by the Dominicans and their Waloder allies, w Waloder, in an attempt to enlist their aid by driving back the Ironblood, who had been a thorn in their side since the Battle of the Twin Realms eight years before. Damn, this is actually kind of sick. Namekia's standing army while offering an organ, uh, while officially an organ of the Republic, each of its five states is granted relative autonomy with regard to the management of its troops. Aside from the certain specialized squads, battle deployments are mostly comprised of small units employing a mixture of foot soldiers and battle mages. The former are known and feared for their curved swords and the prodigious axes and the deadly skill with which they wield them. Cool. This is neat, man. It can be used out of cutscenes as well. It's just the fact that you can, like, keep yourself up with any of the stuff that's being spoken about. I'll try it again. Hold on a second. Marshal, the King of Walud is our guest. Walud.
And you have his majesty's answer. FF13 had this too and everyone hated it? Yeah, because it's, it's because it's FF13. Man. I'm going to squeeze blood out of this rock for you. I wonder that you summoned us at all. Have you so little faith in your own men? Assuming... Her was crew is like battle freelancers. The Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Or am I mistaken? Besides, your dominant has yet to take the field. Does this change if we press it now? Oh my god, it does! Since the term dominant was used. Those whom sleeps the power of an icon, though they look and think no differently to any other man or woman, they cannot only cast elemental magics without a crystal, but also transform themselves into beasts of world-shattering strength at any moment, a quality for which they are honored, worshipped, and feared the realm over. That's pretty sick. Since the word dominant was used, it pops up here, and so is the Domekian Republic. That's pretty sick. Twin Realms? And there's a lot on this. I just don't have the, the mental fortitude to deal with any reading right now. I want to fight shit. And when he does, our knights would only get in the way. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. We would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger their knights. What did you say? Should this citadel be allowed to fall? The capital will lie exposed. Yes. Somebody said. And I doubt the Crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board. This opening is very cutscene heavy. Yes, it is. Get ready. The, fir the first, like, few hours of this game are very cutscene heavy, very establishment. It starts slow. Trupka. It's a lot of setup. Blood will rule the day they set foot on storm. This game is over. And there's a lot to establish. I mean, look at this shit. There's already, you know, six things going on immediately. You cock. Okay, let's look that up. Cock. It's not in here. No update. That's actually really disappointing. <laughs> Benedict. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, so sex. No sex update. That's insane. Take wow, care. game. Does the lion take care when he chases wow. the hare? Or do you think me one of the latter? No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. Mm. <laughs> I'm not afraid of a little frost. Motor boating? Not in here. My god, dude. Victor, How the hell am I supposed to understand anything? To warm me when I come home. How do they expect me to know what's going on if they don't explicitly describe the history of motorboating? What am I- what am I gonna do here? I'm so lost. The front lines are gone. This is our chance. The chaos will conceal us. I mean, I wasn't lying. Me and Simmons weren't lying when we told you our impressions, chat. The, uh, this game leans heavy into the Game of Thrones st style stuff. It really does. 
Like, when I was doing that fight a while ago with that big Atlas monster, when Clive would get KO'd and he'd get knocked on the ground, uh, and you would die from it, he would scream like a very guttural, like, FUCK! Like, when he got hit to the ground. It was almost, it was like, uh, it was, it made me chuckle a little bit. Fuck! <laughs> like, it was like, wow, okay. This game has more F-bombs in the first, like, three hours of its, of its uh, story than in the entirety of Resident Evil 4. And, quick and deadly, as always. Take the van. Wait. Something's not right. Titan. The power of the PlayStation 5. Finally grew tired of being slaughtered. Have I seen this? Yes. Yeah, we saw this a while ago. This isn't the same build for sure. <laughs> and look who's here to greet the bastard. Come on. Yeah, it does kind of look like Attack on Titan-ish, right? Unfair. It's like the people don't matter at all. Somewhat imbalanced. So sick this is all in engine man. It's crazy. All it means is that in the future when there's a PC version they'll get these scenes running at 60, you know? Which will be am amazing to look at. I think Square will be disappointed by sales. Uh, Square showed here, a concern in pre-orders, but from what I understand, it was pre-orders in Japan. And, you know, to me, that makes a lot of sense because this game has been marketed towards the West since the beginning. So even though it might not, not sell in Japan as much as a Final Fantasy 15, it, it has been conditioned and designed from the very start to appeal to locations outside of just, like, Asian regions, you know? They're trying to expand the genre. Jesus. Would you say this appeals to all? Not really, no. There's no super cute, hunky, 19-year-old male character. Gonna stand there? And like most, most Japanese ah. games have to have like super young, beautiful main characters throughout their whole marketing. It was the reason they added Vaughn to Final Fantasy XII. Uh, and a lot of devs talked about this when Ghost of Tsushima came out. <laughs> Ow. Ow. 
Isn't that literally Clive? No. Clive throughout most of this game? I mean, we're about to see Clive when he's younger. But it seems like Clive throughout most of this game is is going to be much older in age. Like, he's going to be in his, like, mid-late 30s. I told you before, you do not yeah, here he's in, like, his mid-late mid, mid -late 20s. And we're about to see him in his, uh, you know, teenage years. But that's not part of the marketing, right? It's essentially the tutorial. He's 28 in this scene. There you go. So what, as I was, I was saying, uh, Ghost of Tsushima made a lot of Japanese developers happy because that game was, like, doing really well in Japan. And it literally features all of the things that the entire Japanese industry has been explaining can't sell. You can't sell games in Japan or in Asian regions if they don't have these elements. So, once that game sort of broke well, barriers... They were thrilled. They love Ghost of Tsushima because it has all these things that they were told will never sell from the executives, and it was like, oh my god, like, no, no, we can actually, we can actually do stuff with characters that aren't these typical things that always sell games. Sorry if you guys are looking at this from the story, right? This is, uh, I've seen this a couple of times. We played it the other night. And there's a lot of funny conversations because this obviously is something doing something much different than the typical Final Fantasy. It was it was or it was already I already liked FF7 in general because FF7 had some of the oldest protagonists in a Final Fantasy, which is weird considering they're all in their uh, you know early twenties. Start again from the beginning. Come, show me your form. Check this out. Oh, I can't I can't I can't attack the lore. Not yet. Can't attack lore. Mm -hmm. Once more, please. Whack, 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 whack. Very good. Yeah, Cloud's 21 in FF7, and he's one of the oldest will serve you well in the field. main Final the Fantasy characters. Said of your spellcraft. The flames of the Phoenix burn within you. Now let them burn without. One of, not the Rain oldest. One of. Down upon me. Granted, the series has been going for like almost 40 years. Fire! Use fire, Arisen! I'm just gonna keep going. You're gonna have to tell me to stop. Well done. You wield the Firebird's flames just as a first shield should. You flatter me, my lord. Or would you rather I <laughs> Never played a Final me? Fantasy? These all set in the same world? No. Uh, almost every single numbered Final the Fantasy board. is in a completely Your different universe, well unrelated to the ones before. To almost every single one. So this has zero relation to FF7, toes, zero relation to Final Fantasy 15. So don't worry. You, you, you practically can jump into any single one and have no preconceived notion of the previous and be totally fine. Never take your eyes off your enemy. Be completely fine. They want me to do precision dodge? Or just regular? Here's a cool thing to chat. Check this out. You have jump back dash. You can do forward dash. Neat, right? Remember, Clive, your blade is not your only weapon. Quickness of thought. Can you die in this tutorial? I don't know. Because everything of the beginning of this game is pretty easy. But you are not just any shield, are you? Show me what sets you apart. Most of it is pretty is pretty easy. They're they're trying to like obviously trying to ease you in. Call upon that power now to close on you. Well, this is one of my favorite abilities in the game. The, uh, the default Phoenix gimmick. Circle button is your gimmick, right? Is there a hard mode? So, yes. When you beat the game, um, according to the devs, I think they announced this before, when you beat the game, you unlock a mode called Final Fantasy Mode. Uh, and from what I understand, that also allows you to have a new game plus and a Final Fantasy Mode with, like, 
and there's another hard mode after that. So yeah, I'm very much looking forward to that. There's some ultra sweaty stuff that they're adding into the game later, uh, after you've played after you've played through it. Fantasy must die. Uh, shift attack. <laughs> Cool. Impressive. Estegard, yeah, again, I didn't say every single game. Hope to every blow. Isn't related to any other. I said most of them. As as it comes by a there is only one way to ensure that you do not fall. Keep your wounds mended and your energies replenished. Speaking of which, my lord, you seem a little worse for wear. Now that won't do at all. Potions! Uh, okay. So here's the thing that's interesting about the game. Um, in the bit that we have played, you don't seemingly get more healing during fights. If you drop all of your healing during a fight, you're done. That's it. So you have to manage your healing of high potions and potions. You can't just stack up on like 10 and 10 or 20 and 20. I'm there waiting. will be moments where they drop on the ground or you see a chance to get more. Right. However, in the fight that we did on stage, yeah, you only get so many potions and so many high potions. And Torgal like as a second heal is super slow. Like we're talking like a healing crystal in Dark Souls 2, twice as slow as that. So Torgal is like kind of a I'm passive crazy. heal that is not reliable. <laughs> That's not where you can immediately rely on getting a, a bunch of health. It's kind of like there, but it's not the best. But I think there'll be things That's where you can better. get more of everything, most likely. Battle is a succession of pivotal moments. Where in life and death can be decided at a single stroke. Yeah, Limit Break can also heal your health too. There is other tools tool that can give you more health in general. To navigate a path to victory. Or at the very least. There is no healing magics. Now every, most Enough magics practice. I think that we've seen in this game are all offensive test. based. You've or defensive based. I trust. You wouldn't want to kick a man while he's drowned. I thought you'd never ask. Come At least not in the first bit of the game we played. With me. If you believe yourself worthy to be called Shield of the Flame, then prove it. The As brother has wish, Kiraga? Yes. I don't think that'll last very long though. How that, me boy? I wouldn't I wouldn't I rely on strength. Joshua's Kiraga to help you out too much through the playthrough. Maybe that's a spoiler. Uh, you brought that on yourselves, chat. You're gonna have to shut the hell up. The will gauge indicates the opponent's will to fight back, breaking their spirit landing attacks. So this is kind of similar to FF7, uh, you know, remake stagger. You can do it, Claude. Just stay Ow, I've been stabbed. I don't have that either. Wow. Not quite. Eh. So do I get, uh... I don't. And I don't get the other ones either. Nice try. Okay. Uh, stagger your enemies and use big shit. This time I took my own advice. I used all the tools at my disposal. Okay. All right. Training is complete. Will broken by a teenager. I told you he could do it. I. Bested at last. It's taken me long enough. Did I play thirteen? I did. Yeah, I couldn't get past about eight hours of the game. I just lost interest. You are a true shield of the flame, and let no one tell you otherwise, including me. What are you, Damn, the armor looks great. Shit. 
texture work on the armor looks great. Is this your favorite combat for a Final Fantasy? I mean... I really love 7 Remakes, like, team stuff, you know? We haven't played through this whole game, so it's hard. I can't, like, come to that. It's unfair to come to that conclusion, because... Even what we are playing with on stage doesn't represent the whole game at all. But remake combat's incredible, man. All the crazy team shit you can do in that game is amazing. It isn't a waste. My shields look after me. Why shouldn't I... <laughs> <laughs> That's why. You were coughing this morning, too. You shouldn't be outdoors. You'll be fine. It's just a cold. Don't push yourself. Did I beat 12? I got to the very end of 12, and I just didn't beat it. The story was hard to follow. Your Grace. Please, uh, this is no place for one such as you. I would gladly brave hell itself to see my darling boy. Gentlemen, Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Thank you, Your Grace. We live to serve. Joshua. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. I'm sorry. Good day to you, Mother. <sighs> Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. Hmm. Murdoch. Your Grace. What a way to treat your own flesh and blood. I know. It's not his fault. Not everyone can be born the Phoenix. We should join them. Drama. Drama. Yeah, I don't know who Jon Snow is, so there's no relation to me. But apparently it's, you know, Game of Thrones-like. Here's the thing, Chad. I've never even seen an episode of Game of Thrones, and I can already tell you this is Game of Thrones-like. I can already tell you. Never even seen a fucking episode. It's Game of Thrones-like. This noble ass chicken. What the hell did you have to breed to get the white one, dude? I had to find six green ones, two blue ones. They all had to be S rank. I had to find some mystery nut on an island. <laughs> My friends. It was that island nut. That's what did it. Welcome home, father. Thank you, Joshua. You are well. I trust. Yes, father. Much better. Today, Jill and I went to the bay to watch Clive spa. Is that so? <laughs> Quiet, Toggle. Stop it, boy. Not now. You'll make a fine hound one day. Father. Lift up your head, girl. Thank you, Your Grace. Does the combat feel floaty like 15? No, it actually feels quite Capital weighted, but responsive. Your grace. If any of your concern is, does the combat not feel good in this game? Uh, don't worry about it. The combat feels great. You must make ready. Is the situation truly so grave? Come to the throne room. We will talk there. Yes, father. Feels quite good. And it doesn't feel exactly DMC-like. It feels a bit more skill-based than DMC-like, and I don't mean, like, my, my performance. I mean, like, they, they give you a lot of skills to work with, a lot of, like, moves and abilities. It's cooldown-based. 
but how those abilities and gimmicks of the summons all work with each other, we kind of saw, you know, the dude responsible for making a lot of it on stage show that off. So you can see how technical it gets. Clive here is Hold on a sec. Damn. Cool. Torgal, immediately. Clive's faithful friend, brought back from one of the Archduke Elwyn's expeditions in the frozen northern territories where he was found half-starved and shivering in a snowfield. Having presumably been separated from his pack, Elwyn gifted the puppy to Clive upon his return, and the two became nigh inseparable. Aw, shit. Aw, there's puppy lore. It's friggin' puppy lore. Uh, current location. Uh, cool. Dad. Uh, who's Jill? Born a princess of the Northern Territories, Jill was made a ward of Rosaria after her homeland's incessant raids were quelled by the Duchy. Duchy? She was raised in the Rosalith Castle alongside Clive and Joshua, who came to love her as a sister. And, uh, Joshua, son of the Archduke Rosaria, Joshua was appointed heir of the Ducal Throne by the virtue of his awakened as the dominant of the Phoenix. His love and admiration for his elder brother Clive is absolute, and he is only proud to have him serve as the first shield. His love for carrots, less so. Cute. Ah, uh, flavor text. That's good. Infernasu, thanks for the raid, dude. Let's read the Torgal lore again. Right. Uh, should you find yourself lost, hold down L3 to trust your animal instincts, right? So this is your, uh, you know, your animal instincts currently. I think that becomes an actual animal instinct later when your animal is with you. <laughs> so, you know, that'll be different. So yeah, we can obviously see that the, the game doesn't hold a solid 60. Yo, Infernasu, damn, thanks for the 20, man. Holy shit. Uh, to be honest, it, this is not 60 FPS at all right now. This is running something like 35 to 45-ish. But when we get a bit closer to certain areas where it's not as big, it opens up a bit. Now it's like, you know, 50-ish, 55-ish. So this is performance mode. The, this is a very stark contrast from the build that I played. Because in the build that I played before, all of this was 30. It was all 30. It did not change. It was kind of like constant. Uh, can we even switch anything else around in here? Gear and icons. Uh, oh, so they put all the timely stuff in here. So this is the, uh, you know, makes the game easier if all the action stuff is too much. Okay. All right. No more putzing around. Is near. Uh, 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 forgive me, Lord Marquess Prey, do not concern yourself with this bungling cur. Bow to him, you fool. Uh, 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 I say to speak. It was no trouble, really. Oh, do not indulge him. To be allowed to stand in your lordship's presence is more than his kind deserves. Why, neither the Empire nor the Republic treat their bearers half so well. He was lucky to be born in your father's dominion. Very lucky, as I remind him every day. Stand, please. Start. I trust his good fortune will continue. Of course, if that is your lordship's wish. The bearer, the brand. Uh, a person with the power to cast m magics without a crystal. So that's what this stuff means, is that they don't need to squeeze blood out of a rock to get, you know, magic. 
In Valencia, men and women who awaken as bearers are enslaved. They are marked with a brand upon their cheek and used as tools, a cheaper alternative to the scarce and precious shards. Um, this system of slavery has persisted for centuries and has become so ingrained in Valestinian life that few take pity upon the bearer's plight, seeing them as less than human. Seems a little, right? So it's like they are, they're benders. They're essentially, uh, uh like avatar benders. But you would think that they would inherently, you know, have more power because they could, you know, literally shoot fire out of their hands and shit. Uh, the mark applied to the cheeks of bearers across Valestea, identifying them as something other than human. Newborn babes are cheeked at birth. Those who are found to be bearers are being branded and taken into the custody of the state. Rarely, bearers evade this test, either because their parents hide them, the testers are lax in their duties, or their powers do not awaken until later. Yet, most do not remain unbranded for long. Ah. Cheeked. I like cheeked. Because it's on their cheek. Cheeked at birth. Don't work too hard. Remember, it is for the good of the duchy that you serve. As do we all, my lord. Yeah, I'm all cheeked up. What do you want? Come along now. I should have used the term caked. What if, like, instead of you got the, the brand on your cheek, what if you just had a fat ass? That you could summon magic. I'm all caked out. Uh, let me try something really fast. UI brightness, how funny. Turn that down a little bit. Looks like they're getting ready for supper. <laughs> I think someone's hungry. So this guy's all caked out too, right? The slave master. I'm having my bearer fill the well, my lord. Best to save what crystals we can, eh? Well, don't you make an absent and pair? We'll be having a feast for the two of you we soon enough. We the stone again, apparently. This war ends up dragging on. The slave master. A high potion. Thank you very much. Fine display, my lord. Almost felt sorry for the Lord Commander. Bye bye. and quiet in here, isn't it? Pretty. Can I run through this? Of course not. There's Joshua. No, no, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's got to be secrets. Who's this guy? My lord, it, it, it's not how it looks. I'm, um, inspecting the castle walls by order of the Duchess. Me lord. Are they literally growing plants? Marquis, forgive my man. He'll be done in the jiffy. Just get in the place, tidied up for the big procession. No, they're growing plants. They ain't trimming. Nah, he's growing a tree with his magic. Maybe there's lore on that. God damn it. Look, nobody else found this item but me. I'm the first one. It's a potion. Can I talk to mom? The power of the phoenix dwells within Joshua, and Joshua alone. If any ill should befall him, it will be on your head. 
Do not neglect your duties again. Yes, your grace. Damn. I will fucking kill you. <laughs> Jump. Clive? I... Are you worried about the war? The soldiers will expect the Phoenix to help them. But I don't know if I can. Don't worry, Joshua. Father will guide you. And I will protect you. Always. I know. Thank you, Clive. We get a different dialogue? I promise. A little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't see shit. Okay. Good luck. Commanded my presence, Your Grace. How may I serve you? All right, you can stop licking my boots. Your mother isn't here. Do the territories fare any better? <sighs> Most lie under a pall of black. In just these few moons, the blight has taken nigh on all of the northern reaches. It is only a matter of time before it crosses the border. By the flames. Nearly every available bed in the capital is already occupied by those fleeing the Deadlands. Even if we were to send them south to Port Isolde, more would only follow in their wake. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Against the Iron Kingdom. We have traded blows with them for too long. It is time to end it. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. The Iron Blood will not relinquish it easily. This will be a bitter fight. We ride for Phoenix Gate tomorrow. There we will listen to the words of our ancestors, as tradition dictates. Wait! The Deadlands. Barren wastes, uh, bereft of Aether where no life stirs and magic is all but unusable. Both earth and water are stained black, preventing any seed from quickening. In recent years, the blight has spread even more wild widely. Wildly? Widely. Displacing whole nations before it, driving once peaceful fauna to violent desperation and leaving silent devastation in its wake. Neat. Florida. Am I to go with you as Joshua Shield? There is something else I would have you do first. Rodney. You will have heard the reports, I am sure, of beastmen from the north being sighted within our borders. Goblins in the Stillwind Marshes. I know of the rumors, yes. Then you know what must be done. I will give you two good men. While we ride north tomorrow, you will journey to Stillwind, search it, and clear it. Then Stillwind? Join... Hold on. Nothing yet. Us at Phoenix Gate. It is time to prove your strength and shut your mother up for good. Hmm? <clears throat> I will do my duty, Your Grace. That will be all. 
Rest well. We ride at dawn. Yes, Your Grace. Room's got good lighting. This war we meet to wage. It isn't only for control of the Mother Crystal. Above all else, we cannot allow those Ironblood savages to gain a foothold on Storm. I know. I would sooner die than see them darken our shores again. I wish you a safe journey tomorrow. And I you, Clive. May your blade strike true. Yeah, somebody was saying, I think Digital Foundry was saying, that ray tracing is always on, even in performance mode, which is, you know, interesting. I don't think I was ready for that to be the case, you know? Shumple Dumple, thanks for the prime. Yeah, that's certainly a choice. Purdy. Yeah, you know, I think I think most of us, at least in this chat, wouldn't mind that being disabled for some more frames. No messages, my lord. I don't really mind baked in lighting. Kinda okay with it. How long will you be away this time? Not long. Four days, maybe five. And you will be taking Joshua? But I can't exactly leave him behind, can I? The blood of the Rosfields runs in his veins. Before going to war, we perform the rite at Phoenix Gate. It's our way. You know that. And only the Dominant can enter the apothecary, so yes. I'm taking Joshua. Oh, to hell with your way! The boy is ill. You think I don't know that? But the boy is also the phoenix. The heir to the throne. You can't keep him in swaddling clothes all of his life. Elwyn! Don't worry. Clive will watch over him. Though he is a youth of but 15 years, He's already a fine soldier. He will make a splendid shield. You see more in him than the Phoenix did. He was rejected, Elwyn. Our household has no place for such a failure. He is worthless, a man like any other. As am I, my dear. <laughs> Nonsense. You are the Archduke of Rosaria. Oh, not this again. You know as well as I do that I only sit upon the throne because my father was taken before his time. I am merely warming the seat till Joshua comes of age. You are your father's firstborn son, and you sit upon the throne. All is in its right place. Unlike some, you have not disgraced our noble blood. Eh, eh, red flag! Uh, uh. Like Clive to keep us safe. Your precious noble blood. Red flag. Sense of grace uh, uh. Lore check. <laughs> what? Wife of Archduke Alwyn and mother to Clive and Joshua is not only her beauty and her connection to the bloodline that produced many previous dominance of the Phoenix that led to her being. Proposed as a bride for the young Archduke, indeed, the two are cousins. Having known for a young age that her purpose in life was to preserve her phoenix-bearing bloodline, she do she dotes on Joshua and scorns Clive. Well, I mean, yeah, Chad, that's how you keep a bloodline. I mean, duh. Right? You don't think there's, there's a bit of fucking inbreeding going on in there? 
That's how that, that's kind of how that shit works. We have an early start. I'm going to sleep. This is it then. Time to prove yourself. Wishing on a star? I'm a little old for that. I should get some sleep. Right. Where's the QTE to dodge? You're going with them tomorrow, aren't you? I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. He takes too many risks. I only wish I could save him from himself. Clive, you... I oh, well, there, Clive is 15 here. Father has given me my first command. Well, if you're not going to pray to Metia for your safe return, I shall just have to do it for you. Yeah, Clive is Joshua's older brother. There's going to be another war, isn't there? Since coming here, I've begun to take peace for granted. I assumed the war between our nations would be the last. But it never really ends, does it? No. The next war will be bigger than before. But you'll be all right, won't you, Clive? You're a shield of Rosaria, after all, and blessed by the Phoenix. They'll be fine. It's getting cold. We should go in. My lady. Good night, Clive. Yeah, you do keep your progress in the demo, which is why we're playing it now. How much you played this already? I've played all of it, and I've played Final Fantasy 17 and 18. Please let this be Biggs and Wedge. Friends, we ride for Phoenix Gate. May the blessing of the crystals go with us and shield the fireless flame forever! As Grace departs, open the gates. Chocobos have huge ass feet in this game. Lord Rossfield, allow me. I shall see her safely to Phoenix Gate. Thank you. 
Thank you. Biggs and Wedge. We're ready to depart, my lord. Please. May I say what an honor it is to serve alongside you. This is to be no mere investigation. If there are goblins in store, level one warrior, one level one paladin. The beastmen are a fierce foe. We underestimate them at our peril. Hang on. Ambrosia? Oh, the, the chickens in here? Born in the stables of Rosalith Castle, Ambrosia was chosen by the young Clive to be his personal steed and raised from a chick. She is a proud bird and deeply loyal to her master, quickly turning her beak upon any but he who should attempt to pet her. That's a good sentence. Quickly turning her beak upon any but he who should attempt to pet her. Not today we won't. So wait. Sir Tyler. Wade and Tyler. Let us do our duty. Give me a break. With pleasure, my lord. As you command. Give me a break. Come on. To the marshes then. Hold on a second. Wade and Tyler. Nothing yet. And may the blessing of the crystals go with us. Tyler. Buddy. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Hey, let me look around, man. Come on. Come on. Let me look around. This is the most I can go. Jesus. Yeah, the loading was like that. Pretty good. Yeah, clearly the beginning of the game is very cutscene heavy. I don't know how much that's going to carry into the rest of the game. It's all swamps from here. Watch your step, my lord. <laughs> and everything else. But you know. Uh, it's only we can use easy stuff if we need to. Okay. Atmo. Not exactly the most well-maintained path. But who do you imagine would maintain it? It's like chat. All fled from the blight. Wow. Oh, do we have, we have lore bros? We do. Uh, loyal shoot the Rosaria, uh, chosen by Lord Commander Rodney Murdoch to accompany Clive on his explanation to Stillwind. Once but a low-born page, Wade was inspired to join the ranks after a woodpile fell on him, and his life was saved by young Joshua. Loyal Shield of Rosaria and a scion of the noble family, Tyler, followed in his father's footsteps in entering the service of the Duchy. Uh, rising to the position of the right-hand man of the Lord Commander, he was chosen by Lord Murdoch to accompany Clive on the expedition to Silwyn, a level head, and could be trusted not only to obey the young Lord Marquess's orders and keep him safe, but to help keep the fiery Sir Wade in line. The Dookie? The, the Atmo, though. Still wind is ahead. Not that there's a lot left of it. Uh, do we have... That's world map, okay. Okay. Two bucks! I don't even know if that was worth walking over there, bruh. 
Bray. Uh, let me switch up my, uh, my horse shit over here. Hold on a second, chat. Oh, I can actually upgrade right now? Oh, shit. Damn, they hella ugly. With me. Magicka burst. Uh, use triangle after striking an opponent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Here, can I actually uh main menu items? Okay. It's cool. How this menu is actually a uh, a literal scene from where we currently are. Ah, there we go. Ability points. Thank you. In the case, the ability's capacity for dealing damage, ability's capacity for breaking the will. Uh, and what we got? We got Fitty. So this is charged magic. Uh, I will take Stinger. God damn it. Stinger. Uh, here's Helmbreaker. Uh, Fire Charge. Taunt. Cool. Taunt. Uh, ground tech. All very cheap. Uh, here is enemy step. And uh, the damage of held down fire. What about this? Okay. Cool. Okay. Ow. Oh, that guy is definitely not alive anymore. That guy's definitely dead, too. Okay. Goblins. Let's actually learn some stuff. So the reports were true. We should press on. There may be more ahead. So, 59 points. We got nine points from that fight. Uh, we definitely got to get Stinger, right? That's muy necesito, and we definitely got to get, uh, Helmbreaker. We'll get some other stuff later. Quality of life stuff like enemy step. You know, tech. All this kind of stuff. Taunt. This one's fun. I like this one a lot. Yes, that's exactly it. Uh, you get 10 seconds of gameplay for like 30 minutes of cutscenes at the beginning of the game. All acting as setup and tutorial. Let's see some parries. Literally don't have it. <laughs> parries are attached to the Titan ability. Actually, you know what? No, I'm 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 wrong. Those are the defensive counters. Parries can be done by hitting an enemy before they hit you. I don't know if we have to unlock that though. I don't know. The quote-unquote game's parry Welcome isn't a traditional team. parry. The quote-unquote parry is an attack interrupter. It's essentially a counter hit. You don't? So. Can you hit me? Can you, like, attack me? Hey, man. Damn it! I'm talking to the wrong one. Can I switch targets again? Ow! Need to show this thing off! Son of a bitch! Eh. What is the wrong one attacking? There we go. So there's parry. You have to smack them right before they smack you. And it just sets up for like a big thing here. Ow! I've been hit in the ass! Uh... Okay. I want that guy specifically dead. Ah! 
Cool. Light him on fire. Cool. It is risky. Yeah, Perry is Perry is uh probably one of the most high risk, high reward things in the game. Because you literally have to it ha hit the enemy right before your ass is going to get hit. What we got in here. But what's funny is they, they call it parry, but what it actually is is counter. It really is a, a, a counter hit. Because the more traditional parry that you're like thinking about is uh is is on Titan with Titan's gimmick. And Titan, when you have circle, does actually give you a like a parry block that you can catch enemy attacks with, and then you know it opens up for a big opportunity to do damage. Yeah, the block is more like Sekiro parry, you know? Pretty much. Magical. Yeah, the, the field definitely doesn't run at a solid 60, but it's significantly better than what it was when when we first played this stuff it is not that was all 30 man i hope it gets better though i do but i wouldn't expect it to watch out my lord some of their number of spells and what a number we'll all have our hands full here yeah. Yeah. Is it R3 to switch? It is, yeah. Damn it, man. Huh? the goblin ass yeah you really gotta wait ooh that almost hurt damn too slow right too slow I gotta use my stuff timing is really specific so uh, we are actively getting things to unlock stuff what do I need that's tech. Uh, that's taunt. This one is a lot of fun. This is uh, increased potency. This is necessito. Uh, tech is also very nice. And this one was what again? That's taunt, yeah. Okay. Uh, these are upgrades to existing abilities. That's to master it. I think you don't need to worry about mastery right now. This is the same build as it was the previous five months ago? Definitely not. Every single thing we played in the field uh, from the older build was running at 30 locked. So, no. This is running at anywhere between 30 to 60. We should be nearing the old village square. It might not be a nest of goblins. <sighs> My build is running in performance mode. Yeah, we could change it. We could change it. Well, the combos don't feel hard because, um, you know, you're given like 1 20th what the character's abilities are going to end up being. 
you get you're gonna get so many things that you can do in this game that yeah uh, at the end of all things he's gonna be ridiculous but the game like I like I've been saying it leans you in right I'm working on it it definitely leans you in instead of like dropping you into the deep end he's the leader you're at the top of the iceberg right now but we'll have to take care of his followers first. Cares Goblin freak. As if you have to ask. Ooh. Ow, you mother. Getting slapped around. Ooh, that in the air does that. Boink. Acts like a natural launcher. Cool. So, uh, Charge Blade, when you jump, acts as a launcher. Shit! 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 All right, we got some big stuff now. This is fun. Here it comes. Uh, large enemies can be faced with caution. They have far more HP than the smaller enemies. Yeah. Using the blessing of the Phoenix does not only uh, deal considerable damage to these enemies, but also break their will. All uh, right. Okay, let's try to actually... Oh, God! Founder, that's a swing and a half. Be ready to move when it winds up for another. Don't have to tell me twice. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Uh, partial stagger. When their will gauge is reduced to 50%, creating a short opening in which combination attacks are easily landed. Oh, my, my bones! All right, yeah, then we, then we go ham. Hey, get that shit out of here. Ooh. Let's go! It's fun, right? A lot of combinations in here. Hey. Hey. It's fun. There's a lot of, um, so what, what they give the player is a lot of cancelable moments where you can, uh, go from one thing to the next and it's up to you, right? You need to choose where you got to go from one part to the other. How do you parry? You pretty much slap the monster right before they hit you. And in some of the bigger, uh, bigger attacks, they can actually be parried. It's fun. And this is like nothing, right? We, we have almost, I have literally one gimmick to work with and no extra special moves. So I can't wait. Hard leather armlets. Ooh, hold square plus helm breaker. Okay, I'll try that. Yeah, it's nowhere near as open-ended as a DMC is at the start. Not at all, but I think that's by okay. design because the game's going to be longer, you know, seemingly longer than a DMC. Uh, gear can sig significantly improve the player attributes. Okay, yeah, yeah, I get it. Put on the gear you have earned. Uh, 170 for... Oh, that's the mastery. Give me this. Beefcake magic. And I really want that. 
This is only for mastery, which is not, like, going to help us at all here. Although this certainly will. That's for mastery. Upgrade. Um, think, think. And yeah, I can't even assign anything yet, you know? These are all the other accessories. Yeah, does it say... Because uh, I thought mastery was the ability to... Put it on other stuff? Details. Increases the maximum kicks to two... Oh, really? Oh. Stomp? Combination stomp? What the hell? Kick off an enemy. So you can double jump. Huh. Eh. What? Uh, the mastery reduces the charge time of charge shot. Okay. All right. Uh, nothing else on that. Mastery of Burning Blade. Uh, reduces the time to imbue the blade with fire. Dope. That will be probably worth it. And what does Helmbreaker do? Can parry enemy attacks, so they just, it just tells you, right, that you can parry attacks with Helmbreaker or, um, or Stinger. Imbues the blade with fire, increasing ability, potency, and rage. Uh, strike the enemy with a down thrust. Extreme down thrust. Strike an enemy from an extended height with a mastered down thrust. All right. Extended height. So if you're way up there, it does more damage. Uh, I can parry enemy attacks. Cool. Increased lunge distance. Ability potency increased. Uh, extreme lunge. Strike an enemy from extended distance with mastered lunge. Okay. I don't even know if we have the ability to get that many ability points in this demo. You know, sadly. He's a high potion. He's a potion. So yeah, when you don't have um, the space to put more potions in there, you they just get used. You know, you can't like you can't like hoard potions in this game. Uh, focus, evasion, strikes, and healing. Nope. Oh, thank you. There's no stat increasers. Piece of shit. Very nice. Uh, am I missing anything around here? Looks like I'm not. Where am I? I'm not. Shoot you! I, sh I shot him! I went through his head! Nothing we're missing? Okay. Little goblin goatee. What's in that? Bloody hell! A warble is not south. Keep clear of its maw, my lord. That thing's breath is worse than its bite. Holy oh, shit. That reeks. I said stay away from its mouth. Whoa, ouch. Uh, time to run, time to run. Guess is as good as mine. 
Fuck. What will happen now? Oh, that leads you to a full stack. Nice. No, before it recovers. Oh, time to get away. Oh, God. As you can hold this down. When running around. Shit, I was not paying attention. This can actually be interrupted here. No, no, I think it locks you in. Cinematic evasions. I'm about to get eaten. So, uh, what I didn't really mind about the QTEs is that they are specifically for like transitions. Funky. That's bad. Holy shit. I think we made it angry. I'd rather we made it die. Oh, time to go. Oh, I was gonna try to interrupt it. I'm using a potion. Let's try it here. Oh god, no! Oh. Up oh, this thing's butt. I'm gonna see if it's interruptible. Oh, I don't think it is. I definitely don't think it is. Ugh. Ugh. Definitely Morbin, right? Definitely Morbin. Cool. Yeah, the, uh, the, the combat frame rate's better than the field. It's funny. My lord. Thanks. I never thought I'd see it. Not just goblins in Rosaria, but more brawls, too. I'll petition his grace to send a detachment. If we don't stop them here, they'll be at our gates before long. We should get moving. We don't want to be caught out here after dark. If we set off now, we can still reach Phoenix Gate before nightfall. Yeah, you can charge magic and sword at the same time, but you, like, have to crab claw it.
damned blight. Ooh, I wonder if this demo lets you fight. I don't. I'm not. I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it. Hang on, let me go here. Uh, Phoenix Gate. I'm not even gonna say it. I wonder if you get to fight a thing. No spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. I'll shut up. Suddenly. Thousands of red eyes. No, wait till you hear this. Wait till you hear this. His lordship draws his sword. The goblin chief runs off screaming. Straight down a mama's gullet. Damn, things before the internet were crazy. Drink and be merry, boys. Gratifying to see your student making such a name for himself. <laughs> the young lord has a bright future ahead of him. Aye, and one of these nights he may even deign to join us. Father, just a little tired. Well, it has been a long day. They all like Clive, don't they? Hmm, aye. Your brother will be a fine shield. We're all very proud of him. Father, why is it that the Dominus is always born into our family. Doesn't seem fair. We cannot live without the blessing of the crystals. And the crystals work their magic through us. <laughs> About that. You have been blessed, Joshua. Blessed to be a dominant. To wield the power of an icon. Our family has been chosen to share that power with the people. So that is what we must do. Jill, she'll be wondering where you got to. So much for you being a fine hound. So this is where you've been hiding. What are you doing out here? I didn't see you at the feast. Feasts are the only time shields are allowed to take their ease and... 
I've never really been one for cakes and ale. It's the vegetables I don't like. <laughs> 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 Puppy Torkel's too cute. It's a problem. It's distracting from the story. I hear you slew a morble. All the men were singing your praises. They never used to. When I joined the ranks, everyone thought I was a spoiled little lordling. If I didn't know how to handle a sword, I'd be a laughing stock. The Archduke's firstborn failure. You're the one they really believe in. I'm jealous. That's not true. They don't believe in me. They believe in the power of the dominant. My brother the Phoenix. Ruler over life and death. Isn't fair. It should have been you. I don't have what it takes to lead our people. I don't have the strength, but you do. Every man has his duty. Ours was decided long ago, when our ancestors chose to instate the dominant as the Archduke of Rosaria. All to ensure that whenever our nation stood on a precipice, the phoenix would rise from the flames to drag us back from the brink. The fate of Rosaria sits on the dominant shoulders. It is your duty to bear that burden. What about you? I was born to be your shield. That is why I was given the phoenix's blessing. To keep our future rulers safe. No matter what. However hard it gets, I'll never let you down. Thank you, Clive. I know you'll always take care of me. <coughs> Before I can do that, you need to take care of yourself. Right? I should go inside. It's past my bedtime. Good night, Torgo. Take the puppy. Take it. <sighs> He's got a squishy nose. from the capital. You took your time sampling the wearers, were you? <laughs> Good job the north is full of enterprising traders keen to keep us in wine. Spare a barrel for the boys in What in the... Gateway secured, Captain. We proceed as planned. Here we go.
Forgive me, my prince. It's me, Wade. You probably don't remember me. I remember. What is it? We're under attack. I don't know who they are, but they've set light to half the castle. I must get you to safety, your highness. Very well. I'm ready. Follow me, your highness. Cool. Are the enemy already inside the castle? I'm afraid so, your highness. We must hurry. Tiny child gameplay. Damn, the lighting though. Jesus, right? Jesus. What was that? I have to help them. <gasps> Everything's on fire. Fall back, your highness. He's not one of us. No. I must do my duty. Oh my god, I can jump. What? Cool. I saw them at the feast. They were laughing. This is Sabra Quagab. Why would the Empire? We must find my father. Send Braquois? Wait. Act of lore. Uh, the Holy Empire of Sanbrek, the nation occupying the northeastern reaches of the continent of Storm, with the great city of Oriflam as its capital. Sanbrek is the realm's largest theocracy and home of the Mother Crystal's Drake's head. Under the rule of the Holy Emperor, the people of Sanbrek enjoy a life of plenty thanks to the crystal's blessings, but they believe to be the gift from the goddess Grieger himself. Grieger herself. A little bit of a combo. Damn it, the bastards are everywhere. Why was the Damn, that's a big heal. There are allies. I have the dominant. Jeez. Kill him! Get him! Damn, look at my dodge. Can't jump and dodge. I don't have that kind of ability. Not the legendary Final Fantasy character, Tyler. Your Highness, I... Don't worry, you're going to be all right. I'll hold them off.
rescued the young prince. Well done, Sir Wade. I am in your debt, soldier. Thank you, Your Grace. We cannot stay here. We should make straight for the rear gate. Way to go. Alan, to Gelif. May the winds speed you to Rosalith. The north gate's up ahead. There are chocobos in the stables. Father, take Joshua and get to safety. No, I'm not going without you. You're supposed to be my shield, remember? I remember, which is why I'm going to hold the enemy here while you make your escape. Is there really owl lore? Hold on a second. What the hell? There's owl lore? Owls capable of transmitting the thoughts of others, specifically those with whom they are attuned. In response to the ancient incantation, their lithified third eye store these thoughts in the form of aether, allowing them to be passed on as and when required only <laughs> through only to the intended recipient. Stolasis are mainly kept by royals, nobles, and other figures of authority for the purpose of sending secret or urgent messages and are seldom available to common folk. The incantation, oh Mia, Losalan Tui Sagalith can be loosely translated as my will is now thy burden ne'er cleft our bond shall be <laughs> uh, now, I now feel like I'm drunk Lord Ro remaining forces to rally at the gate now go I will do my duty you must do your duty too. I... I know. You have to keep father safe. I'm counting on you, Joshua. I want to do some double jumps against these assholes. See you later, Joshua. I'm gonna go juggle the shit out of some dudes. I gotta get my daily S ranks in. Cut some sick bombos here. All right, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Uh, 109 points, which I don't think we can do anything effective with. Damn, these uh, smoke effects are really chugging the frame rate up. This looks like a fake door. I'm gonna do uh, stone skin. Ton you know what? Actually, I'm not gonna put on the uh, the damage stuff because I actually want. Let's do this again. Hey, can you hit me? Can you try to hit me? I want to show you something cool. Hit me. Yeah, that's what I thought. We're too late. Everyone's dead. I got like seven bucks from the. Cool. Damn it all. Huh. That was like protein, high protein. Yeah, where's the, uh, can I get taunt? 
Can I afford it now? I can. I can. Yeah. R2 plus. Got it. We'll have to. We'll have to try that. Jesus. They got their FF14 party. They got two DDs, a tank, and a healer. Let none escape. As you command. You take care of that spellcaster. Yeah, I will. I'll keep the others occupied. Give this guy a good spanking. Ugh. Hey man, I'm working. I'm trying to do stuff here, man. That's them done. Are you all right? I'm fine. It's my father and Joshua I'm worried about. We should head back. Oh hell yeah, this is in it. Hell yes. Hell yes. Hell yeah. Let's go. May I have this dance? <laughs> oh shit. Night of the cool. Blinding Dawn. And you are the shield who was blessed by the Phoenix. No, oh shit. Rosarian, wow. Oh goddamn. Stay still, damn you! Oi! Oi! This man is huge! Ah! Ah, oh, shit, so sick! Got him. Oh! All right, let's go. Uh oh. Dope. Hey, you man, I'm working here. That boy. Oi. Oi. Ow. Holy goddamn. We're gonna have to high potion this shit. Ow. You piece of shit. Oi. Oi, I'm trying to dodge it. Oh my god, it, it, it's going faster. Ow, man. Oh, 
Uh, all right, fun. Fun. I whistled at the dragoon. I did. I whistled at his ass, and he was like, hey, don't do that. Stop whistling at me. Okay. All right, here we go. Fun. There's probably some super sick, like, weaknesses in that fight that we don't even know about yet. Right? There's probably some crazy thing that you can interrupt or some nutty thing that you can parry that we just don't know. That's what's fun about it. Are you hurt? I'm fine. So, they sent in the dragoons. Imperial vipers. Do they really mean to invade us? Ah, uh, the Imperial Army. Assembled forces of the Holy Empire of San Brec, while officially under the command of the Cardinals, it is Holy Emperor Sylvester Lesage, whom the legions truly serve on the battlefield. The Dragoons, peerless lancers renowned throughout the realm, are the Empire's uh, keenest weapon, descending from the skies to sow terror and disarray among their hapless foes. Neat. Not yet. Their numbers were too few. They were not here to take the castle. They were here to take heads. Our work is done. We should return to my father. My lord, look. We issued these sashes but yesterday. In Rosalith. If they were already among us, what if there were others? Father and Joshua are in danger. We must hurry. Take your steed. Plot ghosts reunion. Your Grace, is everyone safe? For the moment. We ride for Rosalith to rally our forces. I will need your help to see Joshua safely back to the capital. On you get Joshua. I'm sorry, Your Grace, but that won't be possible. You... you are the snakes! Stay back! I'm warning you! Run, Joshua! Run! No! Hey. Fuck. Well, they're all dead. Phoenix! Joshua! What about 
Chocobo saves him. Thank you, God. You saved my life. Get her on her feet and run. Please. Joshua. Duty. Save him, my lord. back by the video game and its story. Let's go. has heavily escalated. Ah, oh, I wasn't even seeing what the hell's happening. About to die. So sick.
Seeing this run at 60 is so sick. Getting shot up. This is so Panzer Dragoon right here. Oh God! Ow! Flames of Rebirth. You find yourself on low HP. You circle to cast the Flames of Rebirth. Damnation in, uh oh. Three, two, oh, shit. Oh, yeah, we're not dead. Too late. Is it too late? Another one. All right. I thought I actually died. All right. All right. Now loading the rest of the game. Oh, God.
Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Murderer. I'll kill you. I'll fucking kill you. Is that where the demo ends? No. Jesus, man. Jesus. Quite a mess that monster made. Damn shame about the Phoenix, but can't be helped. Oh, my condolences, Your Grace. Is there aught we can do? <laughs> Haven't you done enough, Captain? Yup. Joshua was my world, and now he is gone. I can only pray there will be a place for me in the world his radiance seeks to create. Yup. I see. Your Grace, over here. The rubble must have protected him from the worst of the flames. Shall we take him prisoner? No need for that. Kill him. Hmm. Wait. As my husband never tired of telling me, he is a fine soldier. I'm sure he would make an excellent addition to the Imperial front line. All in its right place. this one <laughs> chin up lad you're going to be a soldier Joshua tutorial is over <laughs> shit ah uh, there you go chat that's Final Fantasy 16 there and there you go story is set thank you for playing you completed the demo but there's still much more story to tell if you would like to learn more of clive and the dominance please considering purchasing the main game playthrough data saved we did it demo complete we did it yay only like a week left robo fixer thanks for the five gift subs dude that's a pretty good demo right it's very cutscene heavy you know beginning of the game is quite cutscene heavy but it's a good demo man like it, it really sets you up gives you enough of like a little bit here and there it's like like 10 percent actually i'd say it's about like 20 percent gameplay but like 80 percent cutscenes but it feels almost necessary because they have to set up for shit you know they gotta like set you up for all the crazy shit that's gonna happen but that ain't it. Fucking story, right? Fucking story, but that ain't it. Uh, let's you put Clive control several hours into the story, equipped with feats, abilities of not one, but three powerful icons. Better experience the brand of action gameplay. Uh, this challenge was created specifically for this demo, and it features differ slightly from what appears in the final game. Gear and items, world map, config settings, all right. So, 13 years have passed since the events of which Clive was robbed of his brother and his family in his home. After being pressed into service for the Imperial Army of Sembrek, Clive earns his freedom at the hands of a man named Sid, who agrees to aid our hero in search of the answers that have eluded him for so long. We join the two as they begin their infiltration of Care Norvent, an ancient stronghold wherein his brother's supposed killer, a dominant of fire, is said to be held by an elite party of Willowder Knights commanded by Benedicta Harmon. So, um, 
I feel like there's already kind of some spoilers here, you know? He, uh, Clive is on the hunt of the other icon of fire that killed his brother. But we already, you know, I mean, here's the thing, chat. It's not really a spoiler. It's a spoiler if you if you have been completely aloof of all of the trailers thus far. Um, but Cl Clive is the icon of fire. He is a free. So it's like, it's obvious. He says that shit in the trailers. So ultimately, like the story isn't just super dark. Uh, it's even, it's even darker because Clive doesn't know that he's the one that like potentially kills his brother. So it's like, oh shit. So that at some point is is in there because it's obvious like we know this from all the trailers and shit. Woof. Woof. It's really depressing. One of our sentries has failed to report, my lady. Your orders? Pull the men back inside the care, Geralt. He is here then. Have them lead Sid and his little pet to the chapel. I shall entertain them there. Damn, that thing is flowing. So you've come for me after all. Yeah, she is, uh from the beginning of the game, which is in present time, I believe. All clear. There's two Ifrits? I didn't remember that from the trailers. It's dark in here! So, yes, changing icons, ability cooldowns. Damn, this is actually a really big demo. Because I didn't think they were going to give us all of this. Holy hell. This is a really big demo, dude. This is extensive. So, can we start customizing here? Let's take off uh, timely assistance. Let's put on... Uh, the... Badge of Metal increases defense by 10, sure. Badge of Might, Timely Assistance, Timely Focus, Timely Strikes, Timely Evasion, Timely Healing. Uh, unequip. Oh, well that's better. Oh, well that's also better. You just have better things in here. All this better stuff. Uh, let's go to abilities. Damn, I got 1,800 points, boyo. Uh, that's for mastering the burning blade. Holy moly. Uh, this is for upgrade. So I got Titan, which is exciting. Uh, when used to do, it can launch up to three counterattacks. Oh my god, damn, look how sick that shit is, dude. Um... Increases limit break gauge gain upon blocking an attack. Fucking A. That's so sick. Titan's got some really fun shit. Upgrade extends precise execution window. So. Damn, that bitch went flying. I don't even know what the hell to spend all this shit on, dude. Oh, heat wave. Let's learn that. So this is a magic counter. Summon a wall of liquid flame before launching several deadly shock waves. Wave force is amplified upon dispelling magic. So if somebody shoots magic at you, it acts like a magic counter and does some nutty shit. Increases the shock waves. Oh, it's 600 points. My God. Okay, so I already have all of these. That's good. Uh, what do I not have? What do I need to learn? That's mastering that. That's another mastery, so I have everything here. That's good. So, uh... What does the mastery do for this? Execute a magic burst on the ground. Execute a magic burst in the air. Right. Extends trigger window. Okay, so it just allows the trigger window to be more 
uh, a little bit better. Do I have this? Rook's Gambit. Jump back and then deliver a punishing counter. If the jump evades an attack, counter potency is increased. Can be used in mid-air. Neat. Physical counter. Uh, this is... Uh, so Garuda stuff is... Really good for... Oh man, dope. This is... What is the mastery on this? Increases the claw range. So this is Nero stuff, chat. This is quite literally Nero, uh, Devil Bringer. Can drag airborne enemies down to the ground. Can be used to pull grounded enemies up in the air. Called Deadly Leap and Deadly Takedown. Um, land a four hit combo on a single target on the ground after pulling it with Deadly Embrace. Cool. Cool. Gar Garuda has Xenoblade Topple. Yeah, so what is the topple? How does that actually work? Deadly Takedown. Have your enemies. It was in, yeah, it's in the movie preview. I, I never understood how that works. It's during the stagger. Okay. And then it just, it just puts them on the ground a little bit more. Cool. And what, wait, what was the mastery gimmick? Hold on a second. Increases the claw range. Okay. Um, what about the Phoenix flame thing? There's heat wave. What's the mastery of this do? Increases the distance. Okay, so it just makes everything longer and better. What's Titanic Block do? Increase limit break gauge upon blocking an attack. Let's go with that. I only want to mess around with this. I'll, I'll leave everything else for now. So. Cool. And uh, we have to set our abilities now. So we don't have masteries of everything else. But I did get new stuff. So Wicked Wheel is like the air combo extension. Uh, Gouge is the ground extension. Rook's Gambit sounds crazy. Phoenix Flames. Heat Wave. Okay, let's go with Heat Wave instead of uh, Rising Flames. Just try it. C24, thank you, dude. And we don't get anything else here. Okay. Titan had another unlocked ability. It's probably the uh, big Titan Slam. It's probably the uh, Titan Smash. Wind up. Block. Uh, actually, this is the Mega Pitch. Step forward and deliver a blinding flurry of attacks with speed punches. Blocking an enemy attack with the step forward increases the potency. Oh my god. Uh, what? If timed precisely, the first strike can block an incoming attack. So blocking an attack with Raging Fists will allow you to change the follow-up, increase the potency, reduce the ability cooldown by 50%. Ability duration can be extended by tapping the execute button. So that's it normally. But if you use it like a parry, it makes it fucking crazy. It turns into JoJo shit. All right. All right. I'm glad I looked at this one. All right, so we have to buy this. We have to. We have to do this instead of whatever the hell else is on there. Damn it. Uh, hang on. We got to land some of this shit. So upheaval, raging fists. Wait, oh, fucking sorry, chat. I'm still getting used to this menu. Gear and icons. Let's go over here. Wind up seems okay. Oh, wait, what the hell? Hold on, hold on. I'm watching this video. Oh, it like... You can literally hold it. Oh, shit. I'll do it instead of this one. Right? I'll do it instead of this one. Gotcha. So Raging Fist is on R2 Triangle. What was the mastery of it again? Yeah. Allows assignment to any icon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, the typical mastery of some of the abilities. And it's got a solid, like, 15 second return. Cool. That one's also pretty big, too. Heat wave is over there, okay. Alright, let's actually move on out. We 
should start with the dungeons. They may be holding the bearers there. Sound plan. As long as we keep ourselves on this side of the bars. Fucking lighting, man. There's already some YouTube videos of people doing nasty-ass combos. Dude, so here's the crazy part. They don't really tell you that when you jump, the abilities change, right? In here. I, I was watching the devs do that, where they did launch with, like, Deadly Embrace. Or Wicked Wheel, something like that. And then in the air, he did, like, jumping wind-up. They're all empty. Can't do it right now. And you're gonna give up. This gate. Need some help. It's upheaval that does that? Cool. Good to know. The arm doing most of the lifting. <laughs> the trigger is getting more and more difficult to press. So here's where the good shit really kicks in. This is where it's like, okay, so now the beginning of the game is obviously like super simple. You don't have to think about much. It's everything in that tutorial is here's the basics and we're going to teach you, you know, uh, teach you respectively how to use all these mechanics. So here's kind of where shit gets a little wild. Did you hear that? Unfortunately, yes. Don't let them get away. Stay down. It's over. So dark. Oh, I did the wrong thing. Stay down. So goddamn dark. Where to next? Uh, I need to get on Titan. Yeah, I, dude, uh, hold on a second. Let me see. I'm going to stick brightness up because this was also the part that was super dark in the earlier builds. This stuff was not running at 60 though. Here, chat, I'm going to give you the ultimate experience. Hang on. And we'll, we'll adjust this later. I'm cranking the gamma for you all right here. So you can see it a bit better because it's crazy dark. So it doesn't run at 60? It does. It just doesn't run at 60 all the time. Runs at 60 like, you know, 80% of the time. Pupper. How about a window? Garrison, right where the royalists left. Whoa, herbs. Damn it, they're everywhere. Soil and stone. I've been stabbed. Get them all you've got, boy. Oh, 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 shit. That 
sucks for him. Okay, so what do I got to do? I got to do wind up or it's raging fist. I have to hit him with a counter. So yeah, if you get a titanic block at the right timing, you get square, square, square after, which is uh, a, a big nasty follow up. I did not know that. Okay, where are we going, Torgal? I see nothing but castle walls and shit. Yeah, like right here, it's obviously running at 30, you know? Well, that's a big dude. Shit, fire indeed, hot. Don't let them get away. What is it, R2 circle? Uh, do I have Scarlet Cyclone? I have Heat Wave. Do a magic attack to me, please. Ah, shit, not that one. Ah, oh, shit, I'm not paying attention. Oh, God, too much, too many things. Shit. So many things I can do. Okay, Raging Fist is still charging. Okay. All right. Never were one for her. Level design yeah, feels kind of souls-like. Trust me, it's not. <laughs> Trust me, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, it is not. No, the, the level design is pretty much Square Enix, so do not... <laughs> I don't give it that much credit. It might seem that way, but it is it is not. The level design is quite very much in the usual Square Enix fashion. Uh, new accessory. So, residual fire aether that having failed to dissipate in the battlefield has instead manifested into a solid form not unlike crystal, but with an elemental purity that renders it far more potent, if not highly specialized in applications. Increases Scarlet, S Scarlet Cyclone damage by 8%. So, really specific, right? It makes this more buff. I really got to get the heat wave thing to work. And you get this part of the demo. Once you beat the, the main story, you get this. Oh, two sharp fangs. Should probably pop a potion. Hey, you assholes. After them. Uh, attacking an opponent from the front while it is guarding will deal no damage. Circle to the rear to penetrate the defense. Or I can just parry them. With certain basic abilities like Burning Blade and Charged Magic, as well as Icon abilities such as Phoenix Rising Flames, can instantly break an opponent's guard. Okay, so enemies that block too much. Fuck out of here. Ow. Come here, you just stab me in the freaking face. Uh, let's try this. Stay down. Boom. Ah, 
Oh man. Right. The hell? Oh god. Okay. Wrong one. Oh God. Oh, I tried. Okay, so let's try to get it again. My wounds, boy. Somebody hit me. Let's go. Let's go. Oh shit! Damn, those guys are dead as fuck, boy. Oh my god. Hey, magic guys, I need you to. I need to demo some shit. Let's go. Okay. That's enough. All right. I don't think I got the uh, the magic counter. Thing else. Yeah, because the magic counter is, is like, no shit, three strikes or something like that. The magic ball is what you want to counter? All right, all right, we got we to see what that looks like. This is a really extensive demo. This is a lot of playable for this game, you know? It's kind of mind-blowing. We're like three hours into this. This is a lot of playable for this game. Oh. Yeah, this part of the demo is like... Part one is all story for the most part. Uh, and part two is essentially, oh, you just want combat? Here's combat, you know? What did I get? Did I get a thingamajig? It's not paying attention. Badge of metal, badge of fun. What was in that box, Chad? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, bloody, oh, so it was a uh, crafting equipment. Limit Break is just L3, R3. I'm saving it because I want enemies to live longer. A little light for prayer, isn't it? Do I seem so desperate as to grovel at the feet of a false god? <laughs> I was waiting for you. Not for too long, I hope. All this for a midnight chat. Well, let's chat then. Where are the men and women you took from Lost Wing? You mean, where's the Dominant? Well, we shall be requiring his services indefinitely. Come back to me, Sidolphus. I need you. Think of all the things we can create together. The world that we can build. You need me. <laughs> Your king needs me. I'm all for building a new world. Just not his. That bastard's dreams are as twisted as his promises are false. And I want no part of him. King Barnabas saved you, and this is how you speak of him. Have you no shred of loyalty? What? To a leader who'd use me? Like he uses you. You know nothing of me, Sidolphus. You're right. I don't know who you are anymore. Or what you want. I only know what you used to say. That you were tired of running. That you just wanted to be free. Free of it all. You weren't lying to me then, so what changed? 
What made you think you had to sacrifice who you were to get what you wanted? Active Time Lord doesn't work here. Sacrifice. I use my talents to my advantage, and you would tell me there is shame in that? If there's no shame, then why do you feel so sorry for yourself? A rousing speech, Lord Commander. I was a fool to believe you might have changed. The only person I feel sorry for is you! I can't do this anymore. If you would stand between our leash and his dream, then you leave me no choice. Goodbye, Sidolphus. Stand back, Clive. Thunder God said. Finish them. Oi, mate. Oh. At least it's not three against one. Let's go, I got the counter.
brain. Uh oh. Ow! Heal me. Torgo, oh god. Nice. What? You soaked the body? Come on. Oh, God. Let's do this. Oh man, bad late parry. Give me fire. Oh, I tried to switch fast enough. Goddamn parry. Cool. Cool. Okay. Yeah, that's a, the Sorgal is a very slow heal. Clouded Eye. Used in crafting? All this stuff for crafting. Okay. will be on her way to collect the dominant if she hasn't already you can't afford to let them leave remember she has wings you don't what about you before or after I catch my breath sorry come on Toggle It'll be fine. Uh, actually, let's see what we can do here with all the points we just got. 847. Uh, Titanic block. That one does seem really cool. Fuck, that is super cool. I almost like that more than gouge. Gouge is a lot of stagger damage. Let's, let's buy this one. The physical counter. Oops. Uh, Wicked Wheel. Let's do Gouge. Rook's Gambit. Okay. She must be here somewhere. Oh, Sean. On a sec, door. I'm looking around. 
Oh, hi, everybody. Some opponents will cast Cure to heal their allies. I might just let that guy keep doing that, you know? Ah, shit. Hey, do it again. What the fuck? The Torgal! <laughs> Puppy, I'm sitting here waiting for a counter. I'm gonna step on this guy's dick now. Poppy! <laughs> Poppy. Good boy. What was that virtual spin move? It looked it was my physical counter. It was on uh, Rook's Gambit. Yeah, I got something different than what I saw. Whoa, cool. Tended to go back to those other rooms. I just want more fights, you know? There's an item over there. Maybe it's from the other side. How's the FPS? Ah, it's all over the place. But in, in fights, it's mostly good. In the fights where it, like, needs to matter, it's pretty good. Oh, well, I'm glad I came in here. A bloody hide. Hey, is that where that thing was? Chesticles. Favor of fire, heat wave. What? So that is probably... Um... Far more potent, 9% heat wave damage. Is that my, my, my magic counter? It is. Oh, sick. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, I should do that. Hang on a second. I should do that. Take this. Uh, unequip. This is just damage percent, right? Or we take all this stuff off. You know? Keep the defensive stuff, but let me play more, you know? We have a map? No. No map. Is there anywhere else I could have gone in here? I don't think there was. Okay. Yeah, it's funny enough, it's the running around the world that is uh, less frame rate, more of a frame rate problem, where it gets all over the place. In combat, it's mostly good. You would think that the combat would be more taxing, but for some reason, you know. I still don't know where to go to get that. Fuck. Down there, end. Running out of tower. Damn, you can see like the fucking galaxy out there. How lazy wants us gone before sunrise. Sorry, Poppy. Keep your distance, boy. It's cool that Torgal has the air launcher, right? Ravage on uh, the puppy is launch him into the air. Pretty sick. There's that item. Potion. Sucks. 
Sorry, man. Hi, everybody. Hi, Dr. Nick. Oh, shit. Damn, boy. Ah, shit. Oh, God. Magic users healing everybody. show you guys my raging fists. Oh, yeah, let's go! Shit! That guy's definitely dead. Ow! Hey, man. Thanks, Torgo. It's just you, dude. Oh, 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 oh! She better not have flown away. Okay. I love it that you can literally bait an enemy to attack you with taunt, right? Taunt at almost every time with a regular enemy will will force them to throw an attack at you. And it's amazing with Titan, dude. Like, holy shit, taunt is like legit, legit hella good. Oh, God. Ugh. 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 Ow, 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 fire indeed hot. Can't see shit, Captain. Oh, there's another dog here, man. Nice! Let's do this. Potions on here, man. Pull this bitch down. Ooh. Keep your distance, boy. Wake wins. You missed. Oh shit. go. God damn. I got strength tonic and stone skin tonic and I don't have high potions. Good lord. Let's change that. Uh, items. High potions, please. Uh, add two shortcuts. There we go. Much better. I didn't get to do my other cool physical counter, the Rook's Gambit. That would have been a good fight for it. This is so much fun, man. Holy shit. I'm so glad this part of the demo has 
just like nothing but combat. Another high potion. We'll heal. Hi, gentlemen. Well, there's that. Wow, okay. Hi, sweetie. Hi. You okay? Yeah, so check this out. Uh... So that enters, uh, if you attack after Phoenix Dash, you get magic after, right? Uh, uh, wait, it's got some timing. Uh, 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 there you go. And then you can begin the chain, but if you do Phoenix Shift Magic, you get different things. Which is actually kind of sick. Can I cancel that? I don't know if I can. Maybe in, in an actual fight I can. Yeah, I can't do it from here. Interesting. Charge shot turns into a launch if you end your forehead combo with it. Uh, so... One, two, three, four... That, yeah. I usually do one... I do the whole thing. Oh, I didn't cancel it out. This is some, this is some finger gymnastics here, boy. No, didn't get it. Went away. Yeah, I probably, uh, I think I'll have to do some finger gymnastics against regular enemies because they don't work in neutral. Yeah, let's go this way. Thank you for the salad, sweetie. Very good. Very good. Yeah, maybe at some point. So type C is the best. A, B, C. Um. Cycle icons on R2. Oh, want to go in there? Uh, this does switch things up a lot because lock on becomes L2, magic L1. Evade still stays on R1, which I like. Uh... Interesting. Interesting. I wonder... I got used to type A, yeah. I might just stick with it. But we'll see. Finally. Woof woof. Look at the potion. Okay, big fight. Here we go. Yeah, it's got a Soulsborne control style. I confess I expected more from the old man. And less from you. This is the second time you've bested my sisters. Men of your talents are rare indeed. Why cost your lot with such undesirables? If it is the hearth you long for, you will find more than enough warmth under my wings. You know exactly what I want. Hand over the dominant, and I'll leave you in peace. You would dare to make demands of me. Know your place, little lamb. Fool is the shepherd who heats every bleat of the flock. And I will suffer yours no longer. <laughs> Must I spell it out for you, Branded? No one is listening. No one at all! Ah! 
Come, little lamb, to the slaughter with you. Ah. Hey, do that again, I dare you. Okay, do something else again, I dare you. Whoa! Matrix reference. Very good. Fucking duck! Torgal! Torgal! Cry all you like. There's no one to save you now. God. Literally have no Torgal. Heal me. You come down here. Stop it. I'm being shitty.
sec. Face change or not. Oh, shit. Ow, you son of a bitch. Oh my god. There we go. Ah, okay. Both these here fights. Staggered? Hell yes. Get her! I'll kill you. I'll kill you both. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, this hurts. This hurts. This hurts. some magic at me how about it ah, not that not that magic oh god oh 
Jesus Christ! Oh! Screw this shit, dude. Oh my god. I'm onto this. Ah! This shit fucks me up so bad. Okay. God damn! God damn! Okay. I was really trying to get like all these counters and stuff. I kept getting grabbed. <laughs> Catch me like switching in between abilities and I'm like, yoinked. Oh God. You are but a branded. I, I, how? How did you do it? How did you even survive? How? The answer is simple, Benedicta. He was fighting for something he believed in. Shut up! Why aren't you dead? We've played your games. Now tell me where he is. Who? What are you? I may or may not have already had this ability, but whatever. I'm so ready for more! The oh God! The oh God, man! Come on! <laughs> Why does it have to end? Shit! Oh, uh, another week, dude! There's one more week. Just one more week. Eight friggin' days. Two huge ass cliffhangers. Shit. And that's the demo. And that's the demo. It's got us all by the balls now. So here's the thing. Now that I've had the chance to like play it at home on my own setup, you know, with the, with the least amount of like input delay type of shit. Now that I have been in this situation, um, I think I like the game even more from like the pre-release builds and everything that we were playing. I think I like the game even more because it's even more precise, you know, than playing it on big TVs and shit that are at trade show events. Uh, the combat's even better when I when I'm getting it here because at, at all the at all the other events I've played it at, the TVs have a lot of input delay, and it's just because they're they're trade show TVs, you know, they don't have a great game mode on them. So now that I'm playing it on a monitor that has no delay, and it's you know. Uh, snappy and functional, the game just feels even better, right? It feels fucking great to, to nail all these, like, parry timings and shit. So here's the thing, I think I like the combat even more than I did before. Uh, from even the events past and any other things I've played of this shit. I think I like it even more. Uh, so, yeah. My, my impressions are very good, right? Significantly good impressions. Now that we finally get to play a version of the game that has a better frame rate than even the ones I played before, which this definitely does. Um, because at least the combat stuff is great. I can see this demo being very fucking impressive, you know? I, if you weren't sold on this game already, I, don't, I think this, this demo is probably gonna do it for a lot of people. It's a very beefy demo, you know? It's selling the game fucking hard. 
Shit, man. Gotta buy a PS5 now. Oh, gotta buy a PS5 now. <laughs> <laughs> 